Next question would be, what are the automatic disqualifiers for your agency? Our agency, like many other agencies, uh, this is kind of that, uh, that bummer side of it, but any felony convictions are going to prevent you from being a law enforcement officer here uh, at Pomona. And why that is, is if you are convicted of a felony, uh, more than likely you will not be able to carry a gun. All police officers carry guns. Thus, that is one of our uh, major automatic disqualifiers. Um, like I said before, everybody's made mistakes. Everyone. No one's perfect, in my opinion. Uh, but it's how you deal with those mistakes, how you learn from those mistakes, and how you move forward, again, in bettering yourself. Did you make the same mistake two, three times? Well, hopefully you've learned from the, the one mistake you did make, and you move on. That's called life experience. All right, my next question. Do you accept laterals from out of state? And the answer, simple answer to that is yes, we do. Uh, we currently have, I think, two oh, yeah, officers. Yeah, two. One from New Mexico, yes. another one from... Ohio? I don't remember which, where, where you came from. But we do, we but, have two. But we do. Um, the thing with that, though, is we can take them as laterals, but they do have to have a California Post ID or attend a, an accredited California Post Law Enforcement Academy. Post, California Post, they basically govern uh, law enforcement within the state of California. Uh, we follow their guidelines, we go by their rules. Uh, so somebody that does come from out of state, uh, like he said, they can either attend an academy uh, or take a few classes in Sacramento and uh, obtain their basic post ID, which will then allow them to be a uh, lateral police officer. So there's a couple different ways, but most definitely we do take them. No one is perfect. I said that, right? What kind of record should uh, one have? What is the minimum offense? It's kind of a loaded question, <laughs> but let's say this. No, no one is perfect. Uh, I had said previously that as long as you're learning from your mistakes and bettering yourself, that's all anybody can ask. That's all anyone can ask. Uh, as far as a minimum offense, I can't really say what a minimum offense is. When we do your background, we're going to take into consideration the totality of the circumstances. We're going to take everything into an account from when you are a young child to however old and as an adult. We're going to take everything into consideration. So there's not necessarily a minimum offense. It's just learn from your mistakes. How can you become fit before entering the police academy? I would recommend getting involved in running, a lot of running. You don't have to have a gym membership, but of course it helps. I wouldn't lift weights anymore, right? That's my opinion. She says go to the gym. I say stay out of the gym. If everything you're going to do in the academy is all going to be running, push-ups, body weight resistance activity, -ups, sit -ups. period. Yeah, that's really it. One of the things that I did when I was seeking out a career in law enforcement is I knew I had made the decision in my mind, I will be a cop someday. Mm -hmm. And the only thing you can do to prepare yourself for a future career in law enforcement, uh, or the academy I should say, is just be physically fit. You have to be very physically fit. The academy is extremely taxing. So what you can do to prepare yourself is run long distances. When I say long distances, I'm only referring to, say, three, four, five miles, frequently. I was going to say one, but okay. <laughs> but run those three, four, five miles at a quick pace. Do high-intensity training. Be able to do numerous push-ups, numerous uh, squat thrusts, numerous burpees, numerous pull-ups, numerous sit-ups. Tax your body uh, every day or every other day to prepare yourself. Um, and you'll know if you're, doing, if you're progressing in your physical fitness. Uh, mm -hmm. Because once you do, let's say you do get hired here, and that is my goal, the whole reasoning kind of behind this, when you come out to us here at the training center, we are going to test you. We're gonna test you, your physical fitness level, and we're going to ensure that you are prepared for the academy before we send you. You should be ready for the academy when you're applying for this job. You shouldn't be getting ready for the academy 
when you're right, here yeah. applying. No, you know, no. that's already too late. If this is a goal that you have set for yourself, um, and that, that even ties into your interview, have you prepared? And that's part of preparing. This is a job mm-hmm. that uh, requires you to be physically fit and especially going to the academy. It's, it's, it's When you apply lot. and show up for the written and physical portion of this uh, application process, you will hear me say the same thing. I say the same thing to every group that comes through and tests. The only thing you can prepare for for the academy right now is be physically fit. Be physically prepared for the rigors of the academy. Our physical fitness test uh, within this process consists of a 500 yard run, a 165 pound dummy drag, a 99 yard obstacle course, and hurdling a, not necessarily hurdling, but getting over a six foot uh, solid wall and a six foot chain link fence. That physical fitness test, you're probably gonna pass that, but I will tell you this, it is nothing compared to what the academy will do to you. The physical rigors of the academy is not even close to what is a part of this uh, physical fitness test. The question was, how do you get in shape? It's yes, the exercise or running, the push-ups, the sit-ups. Don't forget, it's about your nutrition too. Yeah. You know that yeah. saying, it's, it, you know, it, it, you, you get out what you put in. So if you're putting in all this junk food, all this stuff that's not good for you, especially if you're, you're at the academy, it's going to show in your performance. And that's not just for getting hired, for going through academy. It should be a lifetime thing. All right, last question. How many hours do you guys work total? Well, the way we're scheduled in our department is we work 40 hours a, we- a week, which is broken up into four tens or four 10-hour days. Now, just because your day is set at 10 hours doesn't mean it always ends at t- 10 hours or that you get off on time. So a lot of, a lot of factors can come into play, whether you get a late call, a later rest, something happens, you're needed, you're needed to hold over because the shift is short. Uh, like I said, it's, a, it's 40 hours, but it's never really set to that. But that's what kind of makes part of this job great. It's all part of that. It's is all part you of the never job. know what's gonna come around the corner next. You know, just because I'm scheduled to be off at say six o'clock at night, something can happen right at 545 and I'm off and running I'm handling uh, handling calls for service interacting with the uh, with the citizens I'm taking care of the community and if I don't end up getting off on time I don't get off on time but that's something that's exciting about this job just know that if you have plans you ain't getting off on time <laughs> right. yeah it's definitely a job where you can't uh, rely that you're gonna get off on time yeah. every day yeah uh, every single shift because it, it, it's true. What Officer Vasquez said, it, you have plans and that's when it creeps up on you and you can't get off on time. But that's just what this job's about. We, we know that when we uh, get into it and that's something that we have to accept. We appreciate the uh, questions. I hope it's informative. Uh, we are here, honestly, we are here doing this for you guys. We want you to be successful. We want you to be successful whether it's here at the Pomona Police Department or here um, in some other position. How about anywhere in law enforcement? That's our main goal. Let's provide you with some information uh, and let's uh, share our knowledge uh, to be successful in no matter what job you choose. Hopefully, it'll be here at the Pomona Police Department. And if there's another topic that uh, you guys would like us to cover, like I said, well, in our intro video, we uh, said we're going to be doing a few videos uh, giving information about how to become part of this department. If we didn't uh, cover that topic and you would like to have us do a segment like this one on that topic, just send a message to our Instagram. Good luck to you guys, and we plan on answering everybody's question if we can. We want you.